We're just on a go out in the woods and have fun kind of weekend. We're rolling in Friday night within the last three miles probably. We've seen close to 100 head of elk in four or five different herds. <laughs> um, we are gonna try and get turned around here and run up the road real quick and find a camp spot. I don't wanna be driving in the dark here because the whole point of this trip is to see as much country as we can so we're gonna try and pick our spot settle in for the night but that was a fun 10 minutes seeing all those elk should be good right here good enough can you focus can you try it maybe we made it all right there we go you coming in I'm coming in, can I join? Oh, yes, please. Here, bedtime. Found a camp spot, thankfully, tucked into some trees. Um, it was just dark and we were just getting into some country I really want to see in the light. So we dove in here, made a quick setup. We have a pretty efficient game right now. We'll probably do a video on that here pretty soon, but we just had about four things to unload out of the back of the pickup. Rolled our bed out and cooked up Mountain House. Thank you, baby. Got everything settled. You ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, we are gonna cut it off right here for the night, awesome night. All right, good night. Well, that was fun, old fat chin. Fun. That's awesome. Woke up to that this morning in the bed of the pickup. It's been fun other than this golden train wreck over here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He hates loud noises and we just don't know why. Yeah, he's a great dog. Unless he's not. <laughs> Maybe the love for healing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, good morning. What time is it? It's like 5.45. It's 5.45 and we've been up for 15 or 30 minutes. We're probably gonna be tired, but this is cool, really cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I happen to be one of those guys that, I don't know, I always like to be prepared, make sure everything's dialed. Most nights when we are tucking in, I'm doing checks of, all right, all the truck doors closed, windows up, everything tucked away. And uh, I mean, there's been a number of times where I just wasn't absolutely sure. So I got out of the truck and sure enough, everything's always dialed. Well, last night we're going to sleep and heard a little rat fink running around, which got my mind going. I was like, well, you know what? Are all the doors closed in the truck? because I'd hate for it to get in the truck and start chewing things up. I remembered the lights won't go off inside on this truck unless the doors are closed and I locked it from the bed and everything went out. So I was pretty confident we were set. So I didn't get out and check. Well, no rat fink, but as you saw, we had a heck of a storm pass over and this window was down and our camera was on the seat and Everything is soaked. Oh my goodness. I hate this stuff. <laughs> I'm sure it'll recover. Stuff happens. 
I'll never lay in the truck bed again. If I have any doubt whatsoever that everything is not secure. What do you think? I'm pissed off. Pissed off. It's brand new. It's clean. There you go. Your truck's clean. Nothing wrong with it. See, it looks good. Yeah. There's always something to be thankful for, you know? I mean, seriously, really thankful. This was more ice than water. Insane. <laughs> Stuff happens. Yeah, my hands are cold. We're gonna make some breakfast, have some coffee, drive up the road, and then eat it and drink it. Hopefully we can get a decent vantage and it's clear enough to see. Yeah, it's not looking so great right now. Yeah. Hopefully the mountains are close enough that the, the cloud cover isn't covering them. Yep. Drink it out. Drink it out now. All right, we're gonna take a quick walk. I wanna show Alicia something I saw while I was exploring earlier. Cool. And then we're gonna head up the road a little bit, eat our breakfast. So we just rolled in last night. We could hear a crick behind our camp. We didn't realize it was this big and awesome. I don't know, one of the greatest things about doing these types of deals, not really knowing where you're gonna land, is just happening on things like this. So I feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued actually to come back here and hike. Especially with all the elk we saw. Yeah. Really, really cool. All right, it's time for us to scram, go find some other rad places. Yep. Took a random road. That's what's fun about these types of weekends here. I don't know, we got a few miles down the road, another huge herd of elk, several groups, just amazing. I was really happy about this weekend. It's super fun. We saw some turkeys back there. So yeah, we're, uh, we're just cruising around. We're turning on roads that look interesting to be on and just checking out new country. We've never been to these areas where we were last night, this morning, and the rest of the day. So we're having a great time. Didn't have a huge plan for this weekend. We're taking some left turns and um, just seeing where, where we land. Good job, mamas. We made it somewhere. 
found a camp. It's actually a really sweet camp. We had no intentions of being here tonight, but it is a really sweet camp. It's been raining for a couple hours. We wanted to stay up a little higher, but it was super foggy and started snowing. We weren't going to be able to get the views we wanted anyways. So we decided to come down lower, get out of the storm, uh, hopefully be out of the wind. And we <laughs> landed next to this creek that is rad. So cool. If it wasn't raining so hard, we'd probably build a fire, but we're just gonna get dinner whipped up real quick. It's a scramble, folks. It is. I don't like getting wet. Bullshit. Oh, yeah. Windows are up. Porches inside of this. Alright, everything is getting soaked. So camera's going off. We're gonna get tucked in and try and stay dry. That was exciting. Of course we decided not to bring the heater this trip. It's about 35 and raining. That being said, it was about the same last night and we stayed pretty cozy. So yeah. it's a beautiful spot. I hope we're able to enjoy it outside the pickup tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun day. Just a lot of driving, not a whole lot to show you guys. So hopefully there's more tomorrow. Um, thanks for watching. That's it for today. Why can't you focus on this? This camera sucks. We are up. Same old story. Alicia's in there somewhere. It's cold. <laughs> it is, it got cold. And as you can see over here, it's starting to sleep. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right around freezing and uh, did this most of the night. We knew there was going to be some rain this weekend but we didn't know or we didn't think there was going to be this much. We got our hot coffee out of our sweet Stanley. Sipping on that. We're going to cook breakfast really quickly back here and then pile everything back in and eat breakfast in the truck while it's warming up. It is starting to snow more and more and more, and right now we're not very high in elevation, so this is crazy.
back to storming. We are making our way out. I hope we're not done yet, but in case we don't find anything else amazing to show you guys, this could be it. Um, gosh, heck of a weekend. I mean, yesterday was all about the elk and uh, about the storm last night. Today was about a break in the storm and incredible beauty. I hope you guys get a, to see just a glimpse of that awesome country that we look forward to getting back into and really appreciate you guys watching again um, thank you for those of you that are subscribed if you're not already please consider doing that uh, if you like what you see please hit that like button and uh, don't forget to smash that notification bell and we'll catch you on the next one